Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, without you guys, who this does not work. So, good morning to everybody, and I'm doing my weekly thing here. I've been out grocery shopping. I went to BJ's and I try and get there at nine o'clock when they open up for, you know, us, us. I'm close enough, close enough to the senior citizen, but not quite close enough to the senior citizens uh, age group to be able to go in at eight o'clock. I'm here at nine o'clock before the, the lines in the afternoon. I don't go on a Friday because when everybody's trying to go in and I've got the schedule at least at the BJ's at my area, they um, get their food trucks on Mondays and Wednesdays. So the best stock in the store will be Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that's why I try and come today. So that way I can get in there after they've sanitized the store before there's a lot of crowds and when there's the best selection and stuff. And I'm trying to cook meals so that way it's multiple meals to try and make it stretch because you don't know if we're gonna be short stuff so I'm gonna be doing some of that things and I had my gloves on didn't touch my mask of course while I was in there and when you take it off you take it off and you know don't actually let me go ahead and take it off fully you don't want to touch that because it could be that you got the corona on the mask itself so last Monday was supposed to be the beginning of OTAs for the Dallas Cowboys that's when they were supposed to be getting together, uh, start doing their workouts and throwing and um, installing the offense and the defense and stuff. And this is really key because for the Dallas Cowboys, you have, thank God, whole new coaching staff and hopefully new philosophy and new things and wrinkles that we'll be doing. Um, Dak had been in California. But he is now, of course, as we all know, thanks to good old uh, TMC, that he's back, of course, home in Dallas. You know what the amazing thing is? This is how you know that there's truly a vendetta against the Dallas Cowboys. So, you know, they've been going after the Cowboys working out with Des Bryant and things, you know, they make sure they've been posting that and saying that they're not following social distancing. And, you know, rightly so that we need to, you know, we, we need to be careful with this. We do. I, I'm not, yeah, you see what I've been doing. I, I, I go to store as few times as possible, get what I need, get home, hunker down. But they're not doing this stuff equally. They didn't do this with Trent Dilfer and um, Tua, who've sent around workout tapes of them with more than 10 people around, you know, but, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to check my nose. I know I've gone with sanitizer, but I got this itch. Um, so, of course, they come out with the whole thing with no evidence to back it up. That Dak had a party for 30 people. And it was amazing because yesterday, after Christian McCaffrey got his deal, TMZ Sports, which usually only has the sleaze factor, they go through and they end up, uh, I see on Bleacher Report, sorry, Zeke Elliott, you're no longer the highest paid running back in football. Really? Wow. Anyway, here's where the shit hits the fan. The shit is going to hit the fan now because we're starting next week virtual OTAs. Now, if we are to believe Mike Farello, and I, I, I say if is a key word on there, if, because he's the same guy who's got uh, the vendetta against the Dallas Cowboys. He, of course, talks about, you know, there might be a tape of Des Bryant out there 10 times worse than Ray Rice, that, that guy. The same guy who's been trying to vilify the Cowboys and so on. Um, throughout the whole Dak Prescott thing where he wants to see, you know, Dak Prescott come out and have a press conference about what went on at his house and this, that, and the other. The same guy is now reporting that Dak Prescott, according to 
sources will not participate in OTAs, virtual OTAs. So if that is true, and I put that as an if, and don't quote me, okay? I'm going by what is being reported. You know, a lot of times you guys will say, well, you said, no, I always tell you, this is what's being reported. If I can't verify it myself, I'm gonna tell you where I got it from. And I'm getting this from Mike Farello in Pro Football Talk, which is really turning into trash. That Dak Prescott won't be participating in OTAs. Now this morning when I did my morning video, you know, I went through all of the issues the Cowboys have had in the last 25 years. And a lot of that goes right back to Jerry. And this is one of those things and one of those times where you need to just get this thing done. Saving a couple of million dollars and fucking up another season like we did last year, and we didn't save any money on D-Law or Zeke Elliott. Let, let's be clear on that. We put them through the ringer. We made them the bad guys in public opinion and still paid them what they wanted to be paid. Let's not repeat that. Let's get this thing done. Get Dak Prescott focused on being the best quarterback in the NFL and trying to win a Super Bowl instead of trying to be out there hawking all kinds of shit. I want him to be just an NFL quarterback, not a guy who's having to have a part-time gig because the team is doing... I, I, I don't even know what we could call what they're doing because it's, it, it's ridiculous. Let's get this thing done. Because I don't want my quarterback missing one minute of OTAs. All right. Get home. Police the counter. Wipe this shit off before I put it away. And try and stay safe as possible. Hope you guys do the same. And I'll see you soon.